Finally, our coffee delivery has arrived. Time to get roasting. This is our roaster, where we roast all the coffees we make and sell in-house. Since we sometimes roast during opening hours, I arrange the chairs to ensure health and safety of any customers or spectators. We didn't have many customers today, so please come down to see us roasting when you have the time. Now let's prepare the area. Daniel roasts all the coffee at the Nocturne Cafe. His focus and dedication has allowed us to roast more fragile coffees, lighter and with a unique flavour note. Must protect all the wonderful books from independent authors by locking them safely in this vintage fridge freezer from the previous owner. We don't often get coffee in a sack because our cafe is very quiet and we have few clients of our roastery. We hope to spread the word about our roastery this year in order to help our dreams survive. Our roaster makes less than one kilogram at a time, unlike large roasteries with 60 plus kilogram roasters. This makes our wholesale price slightly more expensive. However, we can promise a unique coffee experience every time. It is also a perfect gift to a coffee-loving friend or a treat to home enthusiasts. As our coffee is so light, its complexity brews in many ways. And our decaf is a popular option, since I declared it the best in Manchester. We have not been beaten on this challenge yet. Today, we are roasting our newest exciting coffee from Papua New Guinea. What coffees would you like to see us roast? Our roaster is an electric drum roaster. It looks like a mini commercial roaster and produces little smoke or chaff. Once the roaster heats up, Daniel drops the beans. Times each roast carefully and focuses on taste, look and smell. Raw coffee after drying is green. As it roasts, it turns yellow, then brown. The coffee cracks like popcorn when it's done. Our coffee is all light or medium roast level, unlike most chains and brands. Speciality Coffee really appreciates the origin of the beans and 
roasting less brings out their characteristics in the final coffee. We will use this batch for packaging and selling. You will find it under the roaster in our cafe or on our website. All our packaging is handwritten with coffee weight, grind, roast date and named after a classical composer. We had to call the Papua New Guinea coffee Haydn. It's a funny inside joke. Haydn was known as the father of classical music and made many dad jokes in his pieces to other composers. Papua was accidentally misspelled as Papa, so that's how Haydn got its name. We love this light roast on house espresso up to flat white. Beyond that, it becomes too milky, so we switch to alt espresso. Which is Mozart, medium roast Honduras. Our coffee comes in 125 grams, 250 grams, 500 grams, and 1 kilogram. I always add a little bit extra. We sell whole beans or ground roasted coffee. We added two coffee bundles to the website, one coffee cup bundle and one tote bag set with samples of all three coffees. We do coffee subscriptions for monthly savings, or you can drop into the cafe to hear our coffee tips and drink recipes. In future, I want to hold more coffee classes in all brewing methods. The smell of roasting coffee in the cafe is amazing. Lighter roasts smell more spicy in the air. Get a bag full warm and it's like a hand warmer. Can you smell it? Blueberries. You should let coffee rest for at least 48 hours, but I got impatient and wanted to make V60. We hand grind our black coffee to order because we think it's the best way to enjoy it. We believe our prices are fair. Our V60 is £2.80. We love to put 100% attention to detail in every menu item. We have different pour recipes for all of our coffees. This extracts them at the perfect bitterness and acidity. It includes grams of water per second, pouring speed, and more. Always bloom by saturating every piece of coffee equally. We bloom Mozart harder to make it more acidic. Too many bubbles. That's because the CO2 gases from roasting are still releasing. We want the water to pour equally through the coffee bed, so we pour very carefully. Now it's time to stir the coffee bed. We use a method called Rouse Min. It's important to hold the dripper level when performing this technique.
the day has come to an end. Roasting can be quite messy. Thank you for joining us in the roastery today. Please subscribe to see more vlogs in the cafe and support us by checking out our coffee below. See you soon!